No. Get on the ground right now. Taser, taser. August 18, 2020. Police receive a call from a woman in Gwinnett County, Georgia, reporting one of her neighbors for causing property damage and harassing both her and her young son. Hello, ma'am. Are you the one that called? Yes, sir. Okay, what's going on today? They threw whatever on my car and stuff. I already made a report on okay. these people about made a report. Officer Tran's right. been trying to even get their information, I guess, or whatever, but okay. his supervisor told him that he only could take the report, so there's nothing else he could really do if they're not right. answering or giving the insurance. They just... um. But just through juice, they pulled up. Okay, whose car is that? They left already. Okay. They they be over there all the time. Look, and he's threatening me like, "Bitch, come to the car." Mm -hmm. I don't understand what else is it. Do somebody gotta die first before okay. anything gets done? Was know? it just the was it just a splash liquid on it, or did they the actually whole soda bottle? Okay, did they throw the soda bottle? Yeah, they did. She picked it up, and I recorded that too. Okay. Look, when she, she comes picked and picked it up, the girl in the black, you see her? And look, when I say, she look, and she's here? picking up this, yeah, she's in there. She okay. picking it up, look, and this one, she's showing it to me, like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Look, she's showing it to me, the girl in the black. Behind the, the lady and the kids, I got a nine-year-old and a four-year-old. Okay. The, they just told my son, I'll kick you and all this shit, and little bit. what you, what they say to you? And I said, why do y'all do that to little kids? Like, okay. Do you know, do you know the names of these? People no, over there? but I have a trespassing thing. I don't know if you can see it. Going problem. We can look into it further, especially if it's continuing like this, mm -hmm. and we may be able well, to work on it a little farther. They were shooting in the air. Okay, right, and, and we may we may be able to look into it a little farther now that we have a paperwork oh. kind of trail, trail going on. But um, when they're when they're not here or something like that, if we if we can't talk to them and get their side of the story, no. it's one of those things where we but have they, to report it. And though. right, what? right. And, and the thing is, sometimes they go. Nothing. They don't. Yeah, they don't answer the door. Whatever it is, we have to be able to. Because we have to be able to set it's, it's this house right here, right? Yeah. Well, it, what exactly did they say to you? She said she's going to murk me with my son okay. over here. Okay. And that's the, is the lady sitting over there right now on the patio? Or okay. is she in the house? I can't see what she's doing. Right okay, and she was wearing what? White this pants? One, white top. Oh, uh, white. Thing. Okay, so all white. And this one that picked up the bottle, so she okay. should be in trouble what too. What kind of hair does she have? Is it like braided this lady, anything she got like braided that? in the back. It's like she braided. The officer then makes his way across the street to speak to the alleged attackers. And they aren't very happy to see him. I don't care if you called me. I'm here anyways. Okay. Okay, I'm here to investigate something. I don't care if you called me or not. I need I need you to get up and come talk to me. No, you don't. Not you. Okay, I need to come speak with you. I don't care that you didn't call the police. They did. And I have a video. Okay, and I have a video which has you in it. Do yeah, what? But what do you want? Want? Okay, and I need what to investigate what your part was in that. Okay, everyone except for her, shut up right now or go to jail. You're on our property. I don't care. Okay, you can all leave or you can go to jail for obstructing my investigation. You want to go to jail? You're on our property. We did not call you. Do you want to go to jail? Actually, she will, according to Georgia Code Section 161024 which makes it a misdemeanor to knowingly and willfully obstruct or hinder any law enforcement officer in the lawful discharge of his duties. Since the officer had a statement and video evidence, he had probable cause to speak to the suspect, thus the woman in the blue bandana is illegally obstructing his investigation. However, the officer is visibly starting to lose his cool a bit, and if he's not careful, he could end up exacerbating the situation himself. His conduct is beginning to stray from the Gwinnett Police Department policy, which states that officers are to render their service in a kind, considerate and patient manner. If he doesn't manage to reel it in soon, he might have a bigger problem to deal with than the one in front of him. I am trying to investigate I'm something right with her. Okay, turn around. You're not going to touch Turn me. around. I'm not resisting. Turn You're around. Not touching me. You're under arrest. 613 10 okay. Come here. Don't touch me. Don't Come touch here. Me. Don't you touch are me. under arrest. Hey. Hey. Get up. Hey. Come here. Hey. Hey. Come here. Hey. You're under arrest. Hey. No, I'm not Get on the ground. You are on the ground. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. Get on the ground. Get on the fucking ground. Get on the ground right now. Taser, taser. Get on the ground. Turn over. Turn over, right Turn over. Turn over right now. Put your hands behind your back. Turn over. Turn over. Put your hands behind your back. Turn over. Put your hands behind your back. I will tase you again. Call the police, mama. Call the police, mama. Can I please get your name? Turn over. Turn over. This shit is in my fucking leg. Get up and move over there, then. It's in her leg. Get up. 
It's in my fucking okay. leg. You just say, sir. Don't touch me. Don't touch. Bro, don't touch. Bro. 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 Stop resisting right now. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Six thirteen. I'm fighting. Step it up. Give me your fucking hand. Give me your hand right now. Give me your hand. Can I give her a Give me your hand. Give me your other hand right now. The officer continues to struggle with the awkwardly placed suspect, unable to reach past the bush for her other arm. Thankfully, another officer rushes in moments later. Get her other hand! It's already in a cup. Get her other hand! Get her other hand! Hey, Tamora! I can't fucking breathe on you! What the fuck are y'all doing? Sir, I can't breathe on you! Bro, what are y'all doing? You're not even bending her arm! Bro. Sir, you're going to break her arm. Pull her Nigga, you're not doing that Ready? I'm trying to tell y'all. Come up, come up to your you... feet right now. Bro, you just said Turn her over, turn her over. Turn her over. Bro, Dre. the fucking leg is... Dre, you... Dre, 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 Get her up, get her in the car right now. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Hey, hey, hand up and under. Hand up and under like this. Get up. 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 The 50,000 volts of electricity produced by a taser are enough to cause the muscles in the body to contract and lock up, which is very painful for the few seconds that it's happening, but rarely results in long-lasting effects. Furthermore, the prongs of a stun gun are only a little less than half an inch long, or about half the size of your average IV needle, so chances are that the suspect can walk perfectly fine, she's just being uncooperative. Get her in. I can't fucking breathe, hey, bro. Grab the car. Fucking breathe. Grab those. Hey, bro, pull those tasers. This fucking alert. What are you I doing? Can't. Oh, what the fuck? You're snatching bro, it out. What the fuck? Get her in. in the car. Twin, grab Sit that. down. I can't fucking breathe. Get the in. Fuck? You just slammed my fucking Get in the car. Head, bro. It's unclear by the footage if the officer on the right pushed her onto the seat or simply didn't catch her when she fell forward. On the other hand, if the suspect would have worked with the officers who were trying to get her into the car, then the fall wouldn't have happened in the first place. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get tased again. That's ag assault on a Leo right there. I still need to get with the chick in the white. Who are you? I still need to get the chick in the white. She was who I was here to investigate. Which one, the one the other one kept yelling at me, and I told her that she needed to stop and leave. The one going and then I told her she was under arrest, and she resisted while I tried to go hands-on. So she got tased. The one that just went inside is the one who I need to talk to. Now that that's over, the officer makes his way back to the house to try speaking to the primary suspect of the investigation once again. What happened? I'm sitting in the car with the door, you know, sideways. Me, my, do my two daughters, and my son. Okay, you guys were in the car? Was coming up. Yeah, I was sitting in the car right there. Which car? That car, that car. Okay. All right. But as she was coming up, she was arguing. They all the time. Her and my niece are headed out. Her, well, two of my niece are headed out. It's always fun, but I'm always the one trying to go over and talk to her. So today, I don't know what happened. She got behind the tree and was like, fuck you. Oh, da, 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 da. I'm saying. Okay, look, look, look. That, listen, listen. What I'm trying to figure Hold on. out is listen. Okay, listen, let me, let me talk for a second. Let me talk for a second so I can understand. So we, you know what uh, I'm trying to talk about. Listen. She did the provoking daddy. Look. She did. And Man, if, you'll, if you'll let me explain, you'll know what I'm talking about she so I can tell you what I'm trying to ask. I need to identify you because you're a part of this. What? I didn't call the police. I don't care. You're involved in the investigation now. How am I involved in the Because something's been alleged against you. 
Which means she I need to come over here and get your side of the story. I don't, I don't feel like I have to give anything up when I didn't call the voters. Okay, ma'am, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this really simple. I'm gonna make this really simple. Look, look, what's probably gonna happen is I'm probably just gonna make a report of this and we're gonna be out of here. Okay. Obviously, your two friends who made their decisions are going to jail. That's how? that's the end of that. One in the house. Okay, that's that's your nor there. Don't worry about that. <laughs> oh Look, listen. And but that I do is your need. Friend. That is my daughter okay. that you taste red in front. You're right. I did because I told her she was under arrest and but she resisted arrest. Because I told her she needed to remove herself and stop yelling, or she was going to be obstructing my investigation. That's not a she was yelling at me, and I gave her commands to leave. No, you told and told her to, her to shut be quiet. I told everybody to shut up because I needed to talk but to you. Grown. Okay, that doesn't matter. You coming on her? She was obstructing my investigation. It's just a whole bunch of chaos with that same young lady that you was talking to. Which one? Oh, the one over there across the street. She got everybody. Okay. Involved with a well, whole and, bunch of and, foolishness. And I understand that, but when she, when somebody alleges something against somebody else, I have to go get their side of the story, mm -hmm. then I have to get the other person's side of the story, right? Yeah. Which you were here. Yeah. I, I tried to come and talk to her, but yeah, that's why I told you. Yeah, that's everybody else saying. apparently didn't want me to do that. And the reason your friend was having her is I told her oh, she needed to see. remove herself or stop yeah. talking, or she's going to be under arrest. When I told her she was under arrest, she resisted me. Did she not? Yeah. She well, why clearly she jumped. All she had, all she had to do was because she obstructed house. my investigation. How? What? Do, do you, be a, if, okay, right. well, but do you I remember? Do you remember when I was standing there when and she, all of everybody was yelling at me? And your son and your daughter that are driving the car. Do they have driver's licenses? No. They don't. No. Kibi so do. why were they driving do. the car? She don't have her license. She have license number, but she don't have her license on her. So she okay. do have license. Okay. Excuse me, but when I run, it doesn't come back. So I just wanted to make sure no that I was positive <laughs> on it. Okay. Do you have either one of their phone numbers? It's just uh, a block I gotta fill. It's just a block I have to fill in my report. You number, right? Give him Kiwi number. Kiwi don't want to speak to him. She's not here, so y'all have to take his face now. What's your okay. last number? 2119. 2119? Yes, ma'am. Officer Oxford. 2119. After giving the suspect time to calm down, the officers prepared to remove her from the patrol car to get the stun wire off of her. Out and face the car for me. Face the car so we can get you searched real quick and get you back sent down. I ain't got no damn shoes on. She can get out. She can get me down right all okay, the way there. Just face the car for me, okay, please? Okay, my hands on my back. What, what more can you do? Okay, yeah. face the car, please. Like, damn, y'all do too much. You got lights? Yep. Hey, get this shit off me. Hey, I'm going to take this out of your hand, okay? Yeah, whatever. I'm going to get that stuff off You pulled it off my hand when you punched me. The suspect was charged with willful obstruction of law enforcement and simple battery against a police officer. She was released the following day. The officer involved wouldn't be able to walk away from the situation, however. He was placed on desk duty immediately following the arrest to allow for an internal investigation into the tasing to be conducted. The Gwinnett Police Department quickly found the officer to be in violation of the department policy, not the tasing, but his conduct and failure to use de-escalation tactics before resorting to aggression. The department stated in a press release, One of our core values is courtesy. We strive to conduct ourselves in a manner that promotes mutual respect. The officer was fired three days after the arrest. A huge thank you to Atlanta News First for providing us with this video. You can view and drop a like on the raw footage over on their channel. If you want more of the craziest police encounters, have a look at our previous videos and subscribe to be notified of brand new police stops.